All right, guys, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. Today we have one drill to help you get more revolutions, hook, all that good stuff, more power coming to you. All right guys, today we are talking about one drill to help you get more revolutions and power on the ball. And before we get started, this is a drill that Mike Jazz now told us about. He is coaching over at InsideBowling.com channel. If you haven't, go over there, watch it, subscribe. They have great content for bowling. So Brad, this drill, we've been practicing on our own to try to you know, get that hand a little better. What is the drill? So we're eliminating the approach, right? We're just taking all of the approach out of play. We're gonna come over here to the foul line. We're gonna grab a ball and we're going to go over the foul line, right? We're actually gonna put a foot in the left gutter. And the whole idea of this drill is to release the ball and then catch it basically in the first five feet. So you come in, you get on a knee and your foot in the gutter and then you sit here and you spin the ball. Similar like you would do at a pool table just being bowler, did you ever go to the pool table and just take a cue oh, yeah. ball and just sit there and, just, and, and just, practice your just, release? Just, yep. Because we're stupid. <laughs> uh, but that's what you do. And what it does, it does a lot of things, but it's a, it's a drill that works on your release. And if I'm being honest, there's a lot of amazing physical games in the world. There's a lot of amazing things in the world, but the best players in the world, they can control the bowling ball, they can control the trajectory, they can control the rev rate, they can just have control, and a lot of the noise beforehand can get in the way, and this, you know, having drills that just work on the release. The cool thing is, is it doesn't actually go down the lane, you don't have to wait. You just sit here and do it, you spin it in the oil, and then you catch it, and you sit here and you just do it over and over and over again. You can get under it a little bit more, and see what it feels like to actually get your fingers like on the lane, spin, and then what it's like to have a little bit of tilt, spin, what it's like to uh, have a little bit of a flatter release, spin. You're teaching yourself all of those ins and outs that the professionals do really well. Yeah, let me have a crack at this real quick. Yep, go ahead. So this is Brad's thumb, which is a little tight on me, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do this. But what I really like about this drill is it teaches you to have a faster hand. I actually showed, um, we were doing a pro-am, and I had a kid that came up to me, I was like, how do I get more revs? Well, one, we talk, you know, we talk about there's the yo-yo, and there's all this stuff, and getting under it, and, you know, in your form, but at the end of the day, you have to have a fast hand, a hand that really can get through the ball. You gotta be able to clear the thumb and rotate through with the fingers. Now, when, we, when I was at this pro-am, the kid asked me, I was like, all right, well, we just went right on their lanes, or right on the approach, and I go, hey, I need you to just spin the ball just like that that was, because good. That was good that was a lot of revolution that was a lot of rest. <laughs> and because if you if you can do this that means you are clearing the thumb Ooh, look at that you're clearing the thumb and rotating through with the fingers now if you can't do it which is what ended up happening and a lot of people that haven't tried this and if you try it for the first time this is probably what's going to happen it's going to hang up in your thumb just like that and then you're not going to be able to get it out so this promotes you being able to clear that thumb, rotate through the fingers, and like Brad explained, it has the oil there. So you see how it just hydroplanes for a second and doesn't go anywhere. And clearing the thumb is important because if you don't clear the thumb, it kills the rev, right? I mean, you could, the word aggression is what we use a lot in bowling. You gotta be more aggressive, you gotta be more aggressive. And you see the guys that hook the ball the most in the world, they're very aggressive, high rev. But the difference between a pro and an amateur, and I've been this guy, where I'm trying to learn how to hook it more, I'm trying to get more rev rate, but all that's happening is, is I'm throwing it harder, the rev rate aspect isn't really coming, uh, I'm not really getting much more ball motion, that's because my extra aggression, which what I thought would turn into rev rate, is actually turning into more speed as well. Even if you do get more rev rate on the ball, if your speed is also up, then it's not really gonna have that different effect of having that high rev. So this teaches you how to do it without it turning into way too much ball speed because ball speed kills any potential progress you make in your rev rate. So, and that's the thing that the pros are really good at. They can increase their rev rate 
as as high as they can possibly do it, but they can also do it at a low ball speed. Ball speed, yeah. And that's where taking the approach at a play and just coming in here and focusing on the total basics. Okay, how is this ball supposed to come off my hand? What happens when I do this? What happens when I do that? It's so much easier to do when you're in this position rather than having five or four steps in front of it. And the more time you spend in this position, your brain will figure out, well, that's how I have to throw it. And then the four and five steps portion start to make a little bit more sense because your brain knows what position it needs to get in. So that's what you're teaching is what position does your hand need to get in and then what do different feels do um, to my ball reaction. Yeah, so, so to execute this drill, you know, you can do it on the lane like this and obviously it's great. That one hung up a little bit. And so do like, I don't know, as many as you want with these. This is a great drill. It doesn't really cause a lot of exertion. So you can just train your hand to do as many times. But if you don't have access to a bowling alley and you have just like, I don't know, somewhere at home, carpet or something, you can also like, I'll just do it on the approach right here. There's no oil. I can still I get was, this. Uh, now we're going to get kicked out. Thanks. Yeah, but, we're, uh, we're out. Uh, shout out Verity Crawley, actually, because during COVID, a lot of the, every bowling center basically shut down for a while. She set up like a bunch of pillows that like, you know, I 10, remember those 10 videos, 15 dude. pillows yeah. and she'd sit there and go through the motions. And that's just the kind of dedication it takes to really properly get better at the game. Uh, and it's the same deal. You eliminate all the noise and then you, you basically focus on the thing that actually matters, which is, do I know how to get this ball off my hand? So execute. I don't know, 20, 30 of these. And yeah. then after that, go to the full approach and just work on having that same idea of a fast hand. And now let's, uh, so after you do like 10 to 20, go to your full approach and see if there's a difference. So should we throw a few shots let's after do doing some yeah. of these and see if our hand's fast? <laughs> All right, so I just got done with doing about 10 or 15 of those. And I got to tell you, I'm happy you told me like it's got to stay in the same place. Yeah. Because I was getting, I was already subconsciously like throwing it down the lane a little too much. And the difference of feel between you like trying to throw it down lane and then the ball spinning in the exact same place are two different feels. I Very mean, different. and they're, they're big, you know, it's like a, it's a big change in what the release should feel like. So that helped me a lot. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to remember that. I'm going to try and keep it in the same place. Keep that same release going on with the full approach. Could use a little rod. Look at that. So many more revs. It went Brooklyn. <laughs> I need rod. Powder it up, baby. Powder it up. Mm. That was good. That was good. That was forward. You kept that one forward too, and it was fast. Let's do one more where you try to get as fast as you can. Too. Fast as I can. So this is kind of teaching you to not feel like you're like absolutely like grabbing it and hitting it, but yeah. when you get to the bottom, that hand just flies through it. Yeah, you don't want to like it's, up hit. It's not a strength thing. It's not a strength thing. That's a good. That's it's a good. It's not a word. strength thing. It's a. It's almost like an efficiency of motion. A quickness. Thing. Quickness. And yeah. when you do it efficiently the ball would stay in the same place in the drill and the ball would have significant, better, more controllable ball speed in the full approach. Yeah, you, you even got faster with that one. I got then. faster, my positioning was just a little better, uh, which it wouldn't have been if I didn't like do that drill 10, 15 times. Yeah, so guys, drill on the lane, left, foot in the gutter we're just practicing getting that hand to clear it's okay if your hand doesn't clear at the start because I'm sure a lot of people's won't um, but there's two things you either train your hand to do it or they might tell you something that your fit needs to change a little bit so you can get that hand to clear but Absolutely. do 10 to 20 30 of those however many you want you can do these at home practice them all the time then take that feel out onto the lanes get that quick hand and I think you'll get more power and if you're looking for more drills like these and more coaching we have a coaching membership with our lovely friend Daniel Puerto and a phenomenal, phenomenal coach. So if you guys are looking for more coaching, make sure you hit that link in the description or reach out to us on all of our social medias. We would love to send you in the right direction. We run clinics and we would just love to help you get better. So appreciate you guys watching the video. We'll see you later.